Now, I'm coming to you live right now because I've been trying to shoot a documentary up here at my dialysis clinic to try to educate people how many people kidneys gone, how many people in a situation because they don't know how to eat right, like me. I grew up a daddy's boy. I ate what I wanted to eat as a kid, man, and now I'm paying for it. You know, so all you people who let your kids eat what they want, that candy and sweets and all that, they gonna pay for that one day. See, when you young, your body can take it, but you gonna pay for that one. I promise you on everything, all that drink you drink and people about what I used to do, you know what I mean? They see me doing shit and they bring shit up, they talking, he losing weight. For all my loved ones, I'm doing what this doctor tell me. My bro died today because he didn't want to do it. Man, I felt everything that that brother said, man. And it was, it was, we needed to hear that from somebody that's going through it. But what we have to keep in mind too, my perspective on that is a lot of people, we think that the dialysis clinic and church's chicken and the liquor store and all these places have teamed up to try to kill us. These places ain't trying to kill you, bro. You're a commodity. You're the best customer. That you're a reoccurring revenue. These people are making data-driven decisions based on our habits, based on the way that we eat. That's all it is at the end of the day. Nobody, they are capitalizing off of us. And the only way we can change that is by changing what we eat, by changing the way we think about food and stuff. Just know you're gonna pay for stuff on the front end or the back end. And a lot of people paying on the back end. So if you want to change that, we got to switch it up like right now. We have to switch that up right now. So I appreciate that brother and his perspective. I wish him much health and he, you know, he had the strength to get through this. But just know that these people want you in them chairs, filling them chairs up. They want you taking them pills. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to kill you. Ain't nobody intentionally plotting against the hood they are intentionally profiting from the hood and i don't want to hear that talking about we can't afford trader joe why they ain't putting them over there because they making database decisions they ain't want to put no whole foods over there because they know y'all would rather spend y'all money on some jays or some half-ass half-ass lace fronts you know what i'm saying those type of behaviors so they making decisions based on that. So we got to switch it up. That's why I'm all about the plant-based lifestyle. I ain't trying to convince nobody to come to this side. You ain't got to come to this side. But some of y'all are forced to come to this side. See it every day. My homeboy just had a heart attack. He came to me. He said, bro, oh, I'm listening now. He plant-based now. And I ain't, like I said, you, you may not need to ever do it. But some of you, a lot of you all need to. So just hit me up. I'm here to help, man. I'm just dropping this video. I ain't trying to sell you nothing. I'm just trying to tell you something. So hit my link if you need something. Like, you know, I got the books. Everybody asking, how can I? I got all the resources. And like I said, I'm, I'm mainly trying to change mindsets. Forget to sell. I'm trying to change your mindset about how you view food, how you view health, and things that you need to do now. So that in your greater years and your later years that you feeling your best and you doing your best. All right. I'm plant based Jeff. I'm out.